So let's say, for example, the guitar, this is the guitar part. What I did was I copied the alto sax part into the guitar. And why did I do that? I want the guitar to have the same rhythm as the alto sax, but with, it says, guitar comp changes. So I'm going to go to the staff tool, and now I'm going to select those three parts. Uh, the, you can right-click, you can get the staff styles from the window, but if you're in this, notice how we get a whole different contextual menu. This is the first time we've seen a different contextual menu, and it's specific to the staff tool. The other contextual menus were specific to the uh, selection tool. So we want rhythmic notation. By selecting rhythmic notation, it just took that rhythm and turned it into a, an instant guitar part uh, with those notes. So a really neat uh, option. And uh, if I put, if I select this bar, this is, uh, and uh, want to put slash notation over this, I, I don't want the rest to show here. I then right click on that and I'll go up to slash notation. So this is how I hear, I'm creating my, my guitar parts, my rhythm parts, also uh, rhythm exercises for my kids to see based upon the pieces that I'm, I'm writing. So uh, some really neat things. Over here, if I want to select this, and I'll show you a couple other options, uh, the uh, normal notation will turn off with there. But if there are repeats, select all of the bars and select the one bar repeats. Um, fastest, quickest way of creating the repeats. Um, what's the advantage of that? I just made those repeats, but what's underneath it is playing back. So the, uh, if you want your repeat bars to play back, copy it, paste it in, and then put the repeat bars on top of it. A uh, couple other good things here. Let's say, let's say we're doing a, uh, a student worksheet and we want to do uh, stemless notes. We want to, and here it is, number 16, stemless notes. So now we got just the note heads. Um, I use this in my jazz improvisation when I want to write a scale and put it in and take the notes out. So stemless notes, uh, a nice option. And uh, let's see over here. Uh, let's go here and let's change it to, uh, uh, let's see, uh, hide the staff. Kind of a neat thing. Um, and now the staff is gone. If you want to do an exercise, a theory uh, exercise for kids, uh, this is a technique that's used quite a bit. Uh, show them the music, have this staff hidden, uh, tell them to press play, they'll hear the music, and then have them notated on the next bars. So it's just amazing what is in staff styles. You can just kind of hunt up and down and see what's there. And you can actually define your own staff styles and create what you want it to look like. Uh, I've never had the need for that because most everything is there. Uh, but... Uh, just a great time saver uh, in in finale. Okay, let's go back, uh, getting down to the end here. So uh, let me take you into expressions. Uh, the biggest change in finale 2011 is uh, in the world of expressions. And uh, the expressions are much, much better uh, organized. If you know about staff list, we used to have to, in finale, set up staff list uh, to make an expression showing the score on one place and then in the parts on another, that's all done uh, automatically and so easy to align. You just put a, uh, a marking in the score and you right click on it and just say assign to save and set it up. Uh, they put them into categories, dynamics, tempo marks, expressive, they even copied again Sibelius's words of technique text, which is text above the, uh, the staff, expressive text uh, that's below the staff. Tempo marks and alterations and dynamics. Uh, so this is probably the biggest uh, change in finale in the last in 2010 and 2011. Um, so let me uh, show you that. Uh, one last thing before I leave the uh, uh, leave this tool. I'm going to go back to one of my scores. This is a new feature in 2011. If you are in a score and you want to reorder the stays, it used to be a nightmare in the staff tool, dragging these boxes around, and then Finale wouldn't know where it was. And uh, what they've done is in the staff tool, uh, uh, you can reorder the stays. This is brand new. And uh, what's so cool about it, let's put the two of the players are always at the top. Let's put them at the bottom. And let's put the, let's reverse it so the trumpet's at the bottom. And click OK. A uh, very cool thing. Uh, again, very much like pressing the letter I in Sibelius, but uh, that I was thrilled when I saw that. 
Okay, back to expressions. Let me uh, just bring up a blank staff. Uh, about two, two, you know, two minutes, Tom. I hate to interrupt. Uh, two or three minutes at this point. Up to file launch window and bring up the default document. So the way the uh, expression tool works is select expression tool. Uh, interesting. A lot of my beginners that have been uh, taking my finale workshops tell me that the, there's too many icons and that they would rather select their tools from the tools menu and it's in alphabetical order. And uh, great, do whatever you like. Uh, you know, I've been using finale for a gazillion years, and these are pretty well uh, in my brain what these tools are. But uh, uh, if your students are having trouble finding what the core tool is, just grab it from there or the expression tool and grab it. The way the expression tool works is you double-click on the bar, and now you're going to select all of the things from here between dynamics, tempo marks, uh, alterations, expressive technique, rehearsal marks, and miscellaneous. Uh, rehearsal marks, they've made a, a little smarter. Uh, than they've ever been before. You can select from ABC, 1, 2, 3, 4, or the measure number, and it will automatically place it on the bar with a box and keep track of it. So uh, the neat thing about it is you just click assign, and there's the letter A. Now when I click down here and just say assign again, it puts it there. Now uh, there's a meta tool, and the way meta tools work is uh, these are all tool specific. You double click and take a look right here. The meta tool is in the upper right hand corner and they've meta tool it to M for marks, I guess. Um, hey Tom, I am not sure we're seeing your desktop in this case. Did you switch back? I just got the letter N held down and I just clicked there and I clicked there and I clicked there and it went in pretty quickly. So that's a that's a huge improvement. Uh those of you who remember when you used to have to do that all uh, create the text and it's automatically set up for the stage. If we add a bunch of stays to this score, let me just add a bunch real quickly with the deep staff wizard, and we add in a bunch of things to the score, and I guess we'll stay away from the harpsichord, but let's just put a bunch of flutes in. Um, once they're in the score, now these markings, we can, uh, we used to have to do all this thing called staff lists, which were, were wild. Uh, so I, I want to get the handle to this. This is another uh, quick technique. Press escape. Go to the selection tool and double click on it. And it goes right to the tool and chooses the, uh, you have the handle there. And then if I right click, uh, I can edit the expression, definition, and then assign it to each staff. So, uh, that's what they've done to, uh, in increase and improve that. Uh, and the other marks work pretty much the same way. The tempo marks, uh, a lot of this is here. Uh, for example, if you want, uh, swing, uh, you can add those rehearsal marks in, and uh, once they're in there, I can edit that uh, expression uh, definition, and uh, then I can go in, I can actually delete or add this or get rid of the uh, exclamation point and do all the editing to uh, certain parts. So the, uh, as I say, the expression tool has been uplifted uh, quite a bit. Uh, dynamics all have meta tools pre-assigned, uh, temporal alterations. Uh, the only thing that I found is if you open up an older version of a file, you upgrade to Tonali 2011, and you open up a, fo a folder, those uh, those things won't be there. Some of them won't, will be missing. And what you need to do then is look up in your uh, uh, look up in your in your Tonali manual how to uh, 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 how to uh, take that out. So. Uh, let's, uh, let me show you that desktop real quick again. So here's all the markings from, uh, here's the B that was put in, the, the rehearsal mark. Uh, let me do a couple others. Here's the rehearsal marks here. Here's the letter M. Click assign. Um, let's put another one here. Hold down the M key and click in the rehearsal mark. So, uh, here, here are the marks. And then right click on them to assign the saves and edit. Uh, back to that, uh, that window, uh, you get to see all of the options here with the expressive text, technique text, uh, marks, and dynamics. So we have a few minutes. Uh, we don't. We're done at 10.50, so uh, I won't have time to take uh, questions. But uh, if any of you have questions for me, my email is tom at tomrudolph.com, and uh, send me a question.